Okay, this is a 2014 Chevrolet Impala uh, Limited LT. So this is the vehicle that is actually older body style. Um, normally, you see a 2014 Chevrolet Impala. They're the up, the newer version, but this is the Limited. So it's kind of the uh, uh, running version from uh, years prior. So like 2010, 2005. I think maybe back to 2004. I'm not totally sure about that information, how far back it goes, but this is this is the older of the two 2014 Chevrolet Impalas. Uh, the issue that I'm having with this car right now, and I'm going to go to a dealership, I've already talked to a locksmith and I'll explain all that, is that this car runs, starts, everything's just fine except for the security system. Now, down there in the corner, you can see the little security light. It turns out, no problem that's normal okay the car will start started just fine nothing wrong there vehicle idle is fine uh need to add some washer fluid 131,000 miles almost 132 so the vehicle is operating just fine except for the security system now i know that light went out it was there and then it went out but the security system is not functioning at all except for that light as far as I can see. Now, I thought that maybe it was a cr problem with my key fob at first when I got, um, when I woke up uh, the other morning, it did not want to uh, start or lock or unlock with my key fob. The, fun the functions on my key fob were not working at all. So don't hang me for how dirty this key fob looks, but so none of these functions on here would work. So lock, unlock, start, trunk, or horn. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here. Take the key out. All right, keys out, door unlocked. I don't know if you heard that. All right, now if I try to actually lock it, nothing's happening. Now, however, there is a feature with this vehicle you can actually learn uh, the tires on this vehicle. So I'm putting the key back in, turning it to the on but not run position. So I'm not starting the vehicle. Let's clear that out. All right, now to learn the tires, where, which, which position the tires are in, you do the lock and unlock at the same time, hold it down for five seconds. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so tire learning active. I don't know if you heard, but the horn sounded. Uh, that display came up on the screen. And so it is in the tire learning active state. Now, I'm not gonna try and show, explain the tire learning active state. All I'm doing now is showing you that the key fob is actually working. So we know that the key fob is working. However, it does not lock, unlock, start, open the trunk or sound the alarm on the vehicle at all. So let's go through the steps there. I'll go ahead and I'll do this outside of the vehicle too because, and I'm, and I'm delaying that because my neighbor is mowing her lawn right now. So keys out. You should be able to do this from inside the car. Lock it. Nothing locking. Nothing locking. Unlock, nothing happening. Hold or push the lock button twice and then hold down the start button. Vehicle did not start, obviously. Trunk, trunk did not pop, and alarm. Alarm did not sound. Okay, so I'll do that again once we're outside of the vehicle, but what I'm gonna do first is key in, roll the window down, and prove that the security system is not working. Key out. All right. All keys out. And I'm going to walk out of the vehicle. All right, here we go. I'm not sure how much that noise is uh, getting to the microphone there, but we'll try and do this. Yeah, the car's a little dirty, I know. All right, so I'm 
I'm gonna lock the car. You hear the chime. Door's gonna lock on its own. I'm not touching it, not touching the key. There it goes, locked on its own. Heard the uh, horn, uh, horn sound, All right? I'm going to physically unlock it and open the door. That should have sounded the horn. It should be flashing lights. Lights should be flashing, horn should be sounding for approximately 30 seconds, it's not doing it. So, and also, if I open the hood, it should also set the alarm off too. I just opened the hood, hood opened fine, alarm didn't sound. So, security system is not working at all. Now, I'm gonna go back to the explanation here. The key fob works, the key works, it runs just fine. Grab the key again, show you that it runs just fine. There's the key. Pardon my smoking. Vehicle is running just fine. Hood is open. Need some washer fluid. All right. Odometer. The only thing that's showing up on the display is my uh, seatbelt. All right, now, I've already contacted a locksmith about this, and basically what he explained to me is that this is beyond something that a locksmith can do. Strangely enough, because normally a locksmith can take care of key fobs, keys, and keys and key fobs all have their own little security measures on them. Uh, pass, pass key 3 plus is what this car has on the key itself which is General Motors version of a security system for that key and for the key system. So basically it has its own sort of uh, correspondence as to how it reacts with the vehicle. If you use a different key uh, or at least you can use the same uh, key type as in it'll have all the same uh, teeth on the key. They'll be shaped all the same on there. Just like this little guy, all the teeth be shaped the same. But because there's a little chip inside here, it has a different code as to the rest of the vehicles that GM makes. So it's not like an older car where you just have a simple metal key inside this plastic right here. There's actually a little chip inside there. And it reads that chip and it tells the car, yes, this is the right key with the right chip for this vehicle. And that is where it starts the vehicle. If you don't, it won't start the car. Or at least it may attempt to, maybe but it won't start the car. It won't stay running at least. So I talked to the locksmith about that and he explained to me that, yeah, we can rekey uh, for cars. We can refob for cars. We had the computer to do that, which is a two or $3,000 computer. He said that the thing, the, the main difference between what I have and what the dealership has is a very technical computer that costs about $7,000 a year to lease the license for that computer to keep it going. And I, as a locksmith, can't afford something like that. It's it's not something that I deal with on a regular basis, being that it's a security issue. What I see going on is the security on this vehicle somehow got disrupted or shut down. I don't know how it happened. Uh, I left my car unlocked the other night. I know I did because I got to my car and it wasn't uh, unlocking and I had to come up to it with the key to open it. I was planning on using the key to open it. It was unlocked and my wallet was sitting inside the car. Wow, my bad. Okay, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have left my car, my wallet in the car in the first place. Shouldn't have, you know, left my car unlocked. Didn't realize what I did, but the problem still remains and I'm going to the dealership. I already left him a voicemail today so I already contacted the locksmith, going on to the uh, dealership, and I'm going to have them resolve this issue because it's beyond my capabilities. I've already looked at relays uh, being a possibility, and none of the relays in this vehicle, there's one uh, set of fuses and relays over here in the corner, and then there's in the, well, on the passenger side of the vehicle, it's down there. And I've got my book, uh, the owner's manual sitting next to me explaining all of the uh, fuses and relays for that and then there's one under the hood over there on the passenger side too right by the battery 
if I can remember what page I was on, which I probably don't have it open to me, but it's somewhere 12, I think chapter 12. I'm going to look through this, try and find it real quick. 10, 11. Ten. Oh, there it is, fuses. All right, chapter 10 in vehicle maintenance, vehicle care, anyway. That's the one for under the hood, and I'm going through each one of these. So take a screenshot or pause. Here, I'll get a little bit closer. Scan up, scan down, pause it if you want to. None of these have anything to do. You have a body control module, but this is fuses, so fuses aren't going to do it. If, if, if any of the fuses are blown on this, that, this car won't start. Okay, so I, I kind of figured it would have been a relay maybe stuck in the on position or whatever, but that didn't work out in that case either. I, I went back and I swapped uh, relays out one for the next, and I also tested the relays for open and close, and no, it, it, it's not the relays. So there's all those. Take a screenshot or pause if you want. There's all those. Take a screenshot or pause if you want. I'll hold it there for a second. And that's all of them except for the rest of the fuses for the one under the passenger side uh, in front of the door there. Okay. That's the rest of them right there. All right. The rest of the fuses. Now, the fuses, the weird part is, is that they mislabeled some of these. Um, for the one over there, okay, there is a fuse right here for the door lock. But it on this diagram and on the diagram on the back side of the plastic cover for that fuse panel, there's also a relay somewhere next to there's the emblem is actually there, but there's actually a relay next to that. Okay, I don't know what that relay is for, but I did test it and it tested fine. Um, I only test, tested it for actuation, not for actual uh impedance or ohms. So I don't know for sure if it's working or not, but I'm going to let the dealership run through this vehicle and give them, give me a pro professional diagnosis. And I want to, I want a good write up from them as to what happened, because this concerns me. You know, it seems like somebody actually had a professional tool. They came into this car and they professionally disabled my security system. That's all I can think of. I mean, this car should not be able to run without the security system. In most cases, if somebody tries to tamper with your vehicle, yeah, no, you're locked out. You're locked out good and hard. The car won't start, it won't operate, or the security system will continue to alarm because you have what used to be the right key is now the wrong key and all the above. I mean, it's just, it's going to be a chaotic mess. You're going to have to get the car towed, all kinds of stuff. So it sounds almost like to me that somebody came in my car with, I, I'm, I'm being a conspiracy theorist about this right now, but in all honesty, that's what it feels like. Like, there's no way that this security system is not functioning and the car is. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I'll go back one more time and I'll show you that this car is running, has been running. All right. I'll even rev the gas for you. Let me get my foot on the gas pedal. Vroom. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Car is definitely running. All right. Switch gears. Driver door open. Yep. It sure is open. Wide open. Put it in gear. All right. Put it back in park. That's, those are normal functions there. If you see that, uh, an error that pops up, I call it an error, but something that, uh, was, uh, tell, you know, it was explaining something new when, before you cleared it out and pops back up, that's a normal function. It always will do that. Once you put the car back in the park, it's just trying to tell you, Hey, fix this. Just like uh change your oil or low tire pressure. It will, it will pop back up every time you put your vehicle in park. So everything else is functioning fine. But once again, I'll show you. All right, here it is, ABS light, seatbelt light, engine light, security light, all that worked just fine. Security light went out, so did the ABS, and so did the uh, airbag light. The only thing left on is the uh, engine light and my seatbelt light. No other stuff is popping up, except for the washer fluid. All right, clear the washer fluid, door open, washer fluid. 
okay everything's great there and even watch when i even pop the hood it'll tell me the hood pops right so everything else is functioning fine oh the hood's already popped excuse me for that um, i'll go pop the hood again there we go it should pop up There it goes. It popped right up. All right, now I'll take the key on the ignition. Out. Everything's off. Everything's off. Okay, great. All right, lock the door. Hear the chime. Door locks. There's a key fob right there. I don't have it in my hand. There's one hand. There's the other hand. No magic tricks up on the sleeve. All right. Well, I'll open the hood first. Oh, the hood's already open. Car shouldn't have locked, or, well, shouldn't have sounded the horn if the hood was open. I'll do that again. All right, so, unlock the door. Lock the car. Lock the door. Close the door. Wait for the lock. There's a key fob. All right. Open the hood. There goes the hood. Hood's open. Unlock the door. Open the door. The alarm should have been going crazy right now. So there's all that. Anyway, uh, update will come soon. As soon as I get a chance to get into the dealership. I don't like going to dealerships for anything, but I need to be able to resell this car. And, uh, yeah, can't sell it like that. <laughs> I will lose a lot of money if I try to sell it like that. So I'll try and repost as soon as possible or update on the situation as soon as possible.